<laughs> oh god, it's everywhere. I'm being consumed by Silent Hill. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, that's Pedro, and you at home helping us form cocaine voltron two canes you know it you love it ladies and gentlemen what's up what's new jordan and i we co-streamed officially co-streamed the game awards and stayed awake the entire time we didn't poo our pants says you <laughs> i wasn't going to admit to it anyway man um we enjoyed uh you know uh what was it like uh two hours of a two two and a half hours speech yep and, 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 uh, and then the remaining five minutes of the actual Lords. Yeah, a couple of trailers. And then that weird thing happened. And they were like, what the hell? And yeah, we, we were both confused and entertained. But what have we been up to? A couple of things I discovered. Valhalla finally released. What's it been, like two years, three years? since? Uh, Something like that. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Their last Assassin's Creed game, which was just like, you know, they, they'd gotten into a flow. They thought they were going to get away with it. And they're like, let's just do, you know, swap out some textures. It's going to be the same game and all that. Somehow it doesn't run under Proton, but it's on Steam now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird because, like, yeah, I, I, I streamed the first little bit of Assassin's Creed Valhalla doing the Uplay thing. Uh -huh. we were, we're, we're trying to figure out, like, what, what went wrong. And, like, I, I genuinely don't know. It must have been just a, an update or something. NVIDIA drivers, probably, because apparently it runs on Steam Deck. And by that, I mean, you can kind of make it run. I checked on ProtonDB and all the all the normal hots. And they're like, hey, we're just going to wait for it. I'm like, whatever. It was on sale, so I went ahead and picked a Burned a Heretic purchase on that because it's an Assassin's Creed game. You know, you can fuck around. It's not going to be as bad as Odyssey, which was a perfect fuck around game. Right up until it got to the point where you could tell where the microtransactions were initially. I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, the system was designed to just get money from you. I'm like, I'm out. So maybe this one's going to be a little bit better. Looking forward to playing it. Also, I made Unraveled work with a controller because I found the one other person online, apparently one of the Steam betas, did a thing, or at least it happened on my box because I couldn't get controllers to work. It was one of the EA titles, which now work. Me and Pedro were talking about that in the pre pre super shows. And if you go into Steam settings, controller, desktop configuration, see if it's empty. There's your little pro tip from your neighborhood, old man Vin, if you've been having problems with uh, getting your controllers working under Proton, because that just made everything work. And I did a little victory dance. Then I played Unravel <laughs> for about 30 minutes. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's a typical sign of uh, the Steam input not working properly in that game, and it's just picking up whatever desktop configuration you have. That Elden Ring, you know, game of the year. Uh, it was uh, th that was one such game, unless you were playing it on the deck, because that's the only place that it does work properly with Proton. Again, clearly, that's where the focus is. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> basically, the moral of the story here is just use heroic games launcher, right? It, it, just, it's just, making just install Windows headway. 11 on your Steam Deck. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Problem that, solved. That, that, that you won at the Game Awards, you Jordan, bastards. we couldn't even tempt fate. We made a pact to install yeah. Windows 11 on our Steam Deck we, that we, we didn't We win. did. No. The <sighs> universe is like, no, because you, you, after you're done, you're just going to wipe it and install Linux on yeah, it. So yeah. we, we, it was all true. What about you, Jordan? What's up? Do you get anything new? Anything exciting? No, I... No, no, nothing really new in like the the fucking two days since we've last spoken. Um, what about for all the people listening on a Monday? What about what about for all the people listening on Monday? Did a thing happen? I don't know. I don't think so. No, my 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 week has been very dull. I've, I'm crawling out of a under a mountain of work. Um. Yeah, pass, Pedro. What, <laughs> you 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 tell an exciting story. What did you do? Did do you it. did you kill anyone this week? Did you have any new strange skulls to add to your collection? Well, I didn't kill anyone that I'm aware of, but I did get into drinking again. Uh, <laughs> I've been put in charge of uh, drinks for the uh, holiday festivities, so uh, I bought one of those cheapo Amazon shaker sets. How did that conversation go at the house? Nori's like, Pedro, you're an alcoholic here. <laughs> It was mostly like, you're the one who's worked behind the bar uh, out of everyone that's going to be involved in that, so you're in charge of the drinks. Okay. Ah, yes. Try, Try my new cocktail of whiskey and <laughs> more whiskey. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I bought the shaker set, and then uh, Nori, uh, she baked something for a university thing, event that they were doing, and uh, there were some 
egg whites left over. So we had a couple of days of just making whiskey sours because I like whiskey sours. Uh, so Do those yeah, have that's, egg whites in them? Yeah, that's how you make the foam. Okay. It, it's like really pouring, good. Pouring I made one. Like I took a picture. I put it on Discord. And, and it had, yes. And uh, lemon juice and some bitters. And, yeah, that's just whiskey sour. <laughs> so oh, what did the you syrup, do? I guess. <laughs> what no, did you no, the, no, uh, yolking around. No, man. I, I need to know what happened to all the leftover uh, whiskey. <laughs> it, it, it's still there. It, it, it's still in the <laughs> bottle. In, There's like half a bottle stomach. left. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, uh, it's... It, it, it's the uh, quick review of the cheapo Amazon set. It's all right, but the two like cups don't seal properly, even with when you're shaking it with ice, which it, that's when it's supposed to shrink and it seals itself properly. It doesn't um, seal properly at all, so don't buy that one. <laughs> Maybe buy the slightly more expensive one. <laughs> Well, we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. I don't know, man. Um, something you shouldn't buy at Amazon, um, but I will throw it out there as a prototype. I was talking about this in the we were chosen. I was today, not today, it was like three three days ago, year old. Microfiber towels exist, kids. Just think about that next time you're trying to clean up a body. Just pro tip. <laughs> kind of like the horse. If we'd had one for the horse, you know how much it, easier it'd be to move it around? It wouldn't leave like that smear. Yeah, it would probably smell a lot less worse too. We could get it. We could finally take it to like the the horse smear cafe. <laughs> get it. Get a nice little coffee. Horse smear or spa. Get a little massage. It's the steam. Linux update. Of the week. And yes, there's a big beta. Big beta. Well, not really, but it is bigger than the ones we've been getting lately. Which Marketing. Is just, eh, a couple Hiram, of entries. Steam. Come on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this one, uh, there's one specific Linux fix, which is fix a crash on Linux and lib audio. Uh, and, um, yeah, no, that doesn't sound particularly bad. In fact, it doesn't sound at all because that particular bug that they're fixing is what caused the in-game overlay to crash when you took a screenshot. You know, that little snapping sound that it would make whenever you hit F12? Yeah, yeah. that was crashing the overlay entirely. That's my favorite <laughs> sound. I named him Jeffrey. <laughs> So, yeah, it's uh, most people uh, who ran into that have now disabled that sound. You should be able to re-enable it again if you really want to. I just keep it disabled because, it, yeah, I don't need the little sound when it happens. All right, all right, all right. Show, show of hands. Like, if you take a screenshot and that sound was on and it caused it to crash, would you blame the sound? I'm like, no, that's probably proved on or something. Else. So, yeah, yeah, no, r- r- I really had no idea, so... I, I went looking on the uh, Valve GitHub like a month ago, and there was already a thread <laughs> started about it. It's like, yeah, that's lib audio that's crashing. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh. Interesting thing to learn. <laughs> Another thing I had a less shock about, I think on Friday, I went to start Trackmania. Come hang out. Play Trackmania with us. Uh, Track.linuxemcast.com. No, filthy.linuxemcast.com. <laughs> there we go. Ah, more marketing. We've all run into this, and I know Jordan and I loathe it with special passion from Team XFCE. Of you click on, and it gives you a little menu. It's like, hey, do you want option one or option two? And you click option one, and it falls behind the OK button. You're like, gee, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> come on. They've updated that menu. So if you have a couple of different launch options, it's like a nice, you know, stylized yeah, the, UI interface, and you can it's, you got a scroll the, wheel in case you need it, but most the, importantly... The game we're throwing chairs at has, uh, has it that. It does. <laughs> it's got plenty of options, and yeah. you can even tell it to remember your selection. It's got a checkbox. I like you that click on that, and you're like, fuck how off do you, how do you undo? How do you undo that, though? It's in the drop-down menu in Properties. Yeah, okay. Just right-click to, Properties. Good. And, good to know. Good yeah. to know, because otherwise <laughs> exactly. you're going to lock yourself into an option that maybe, exactly. That's why maybe I, you didn't want. Until I read that post, I was like, because this is going to be like some Control-Shift wiggly squiggle. Yeah, you got to gotta, yeah, um, gotta bring shift, up the, de- the developer launch. console in Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, in old Steam, it used to be hold down Shift uh, and click the Launch button to give you the launch options. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, they've uh, now given people the uh option to remember that that's thank you that's brilliant <laughs> usability that's going to save so much time now on the desktop client since you're listening because we're praising you give me a tick box for mango hud okay mm. and fix the um controller rebinding options for the new controller ui 
while you're in a game in the overlay because that window just stays there frozen and then you <laughs> exit the game and the window is still there frozen so you it's have to force kill you, it Pedro. You, you, you know what <laughs> valve because you're listening don't do any of the stuff just send me a steam deck and i'll, I'll praise you forever that's, that's all you need to do. <laughs> preload it with windows 11 i'll pay you, be- you, you you better you better. I, I will. I will throw it out if it comes with anything other than Haiku <laughs> or Windows 11 on it. Uh, we got to talk about a new version of uh, Proton GE. We don't usually talk about them because they usually release 20 minutes after we're done recording That's the why show. This was released eight days ago. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, seven four two. It's out, uh, and it's a pretty boring release. It just pulls in the latest and greatest from uh, Proton, Proton fixes, uh, VKD 3D, DXVK, blah blah blah, media converter. Etc. Etc. We got a couple of proton fixes for uh, King of Fighters and Squad, as well as uh, Skeleton Boomerang and Revolts. So yeah, go download that and play some. Maybe I, I don't know. You're, you're, so Ven, it doesn't. This one doesn't work with Valhalla for you. First thing I tried when I after I got <laughs> over the initial shock because it's an Assassin's Creed title. And I know for a fact Jordan has streamed some Valhalla. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh okay, this is gonna be easy. Just do it, and I'm gonna do it. I, and I, I use GE to do it. So uh, I didn't even think twice. I was like, this is just going to work with regular Proton. And I just put it on seven. I'm like, huh. Went to Proton Experimental. Huh. Okay, let's go to Proton G. That that's going to work. Nope. God damn it. So no, this didn't fix the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla thing. Yeah. Um. On the point of a uh, revolt, just install Lux Torpedo and pick RVGL as the engine replacement. It's a much better experience. Um, okay, uh, I do gotta ask, what's Lux Torpedo? Uh, we've talked about Lux Torpedo a couple of times on the show. It's I, I missed that episode. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all three of them. Uh, it's a, a very teeny tiny little uh, launch wrapper that once you set a game to launch with it, it will, if it has a open source engine re-implementation like... OpenMW or any of the open x-rays for the stalkers or whatever um it will give you the option to pick uh, to launch the game with whichever uh open source engine re-implementation you pick and for revolt you have rvgl which works a lot better than proton it gives you a lot more options and the controllers work properly so you yeah use RVGL. you see you- you see, you see, Pedro. That's a lot of work, and I can just install Proton GE and click. Play. Yep. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for this game that I'm never gonna even touch. Click. Get uh, it it's done. also working in experimental. So yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, for like all of you, both of you, play Revolt and uh, get it done. Hey, Pe- but, hey, yeah, Pedro but both loves of Pedro's friends. Yeah. yeah. Pe- Pedro and his yeah, two friends. Yeah, it's uh, as it turns out, uh, games from um, what is ninety nine. <laughs> it's a very popular one from that year. All right. So, something that has uh, always been a niche category for gaming as a whole is fighting. And I, I've been kind of, I've talked about it a couple of times. I've been watching uh, the knockoff Pedro, the budget Pedro guy, Maximilian. The, 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 the cooler Pedro, you mean? Yeah, the hip, young Pedro, <laughs> Maximilian dude. <laughs> and he does a lot with the fighting stuff. And I started watching him when they were talking about the new, latest Street Fighter. And I was more fascinated because how deep that motherfucker goes into like the mechanics of fighting. Like, I don't know all this stuff, but I'm fascinated with it. Same reason I'll watch a thing about knitting. If it's interesting enough, we don't have a lot of fighting games on Linux. In fact, we can name them off real easy. Kings of Kung Fu, Skull Girls. Fantasy Strike. Fantasy Strike. Okay. We got one. Okay. Two. <laughs> we got two good fighting games under Linux. And that's about it. Umbral Core might add number three. And this came out earlier this week from a few round games. This is a playable alpha plus type demo. And it's still early, but it's completely playable. It's Unity, native on Linux. And, you know, I played around with the demo. It's in good shape, again, for an alpha tech demo. It 100% is. And you can play as not Virgil or uh, in the cover art even shows like not Aurora as well from uh, Bloodstain. Mm. (laughs) And... Yeah, I mean, take a look at it. I mean, do yourself a favor. This links will be in the show notes, uh, Byron or if you're watching the video Byron. version. Yeah, Byron Harder. More Byron. You get to play uh, as Byron. 
More <laughs> Byron. Have the one character and his, and his well, twin brother Byron. So, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I, I don't know. When, when are, like so, so like the, they're they're saying this is a uh, dark fantasy Lovecraftian fighting game. And whenever I think of like Eldritch Horror, I always think, yeah, you know, Cthulhu was about to drive me insane, but I got him and I hit him with a sick launch, and I air juggled him until he couldn't do shit. And uh, now, now I now I've saved the world. Uh, I don't think it's probably going to go like that. But whenever you try to like mash up like fighting games and Eldritch Horror. That, that's the kind of dissonance you're going to create, but I don't know. Maybe maybe they can make it work. I look forward to it. Uh, there is the demo. Just go ahead and grab it. They got a Kickstarter. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Let's see what our system requirements are. Uh, Ubuntu 18.04, recommended 20.04, 10 gigs of space, So and a 960. So this is not going to require too much to get up and running. But what do they need from the people? They're looking for $300,000 on the Kickstarter. They got 27 days left. And I, you know, I math that out. That's going to be about a hundred thousand dollars a year for. They plan on taking about three years to get this done for a two-person team. So you know, that's not too bad. Do you think about like for comparison? You know, Hollow Knight was kind of made for twenty-four k total, but seventy bucks is going to get you early access during development. There's a lower like thirty dollar price. But oh, you know, neat. Yes. They got uh, they got Alex Mukala doing the uh, the music for this. He's on uh, YouTube. He does a lot of like the uh, the video game track breakdowns. Nice. And uh, yeah, if you want uh, plan release twenty twenty five. Now they are worried. They even point this out in the Kickstarter. They're like, we the only thing that we're really concerned about is slippage because um, they both have full time jobs. And they're like, mm-hmm. this isn't going to be our full time job. We're going to be honest with you about that. And um, you know, it could fall back. 2025 is a long way away, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. It is, and but you know, if they are, they have other full time jobs. Then I can absolutely see that being a fairly reasonable uh, ETA. <laughs> Do you think they're going to be able to hit three hundred thousand dollars in twenty seven days? They got thirty k right now. Um, may- At that rate, no, <laughs> because most if, if, uh, Kickstarter they like campaigns a- they have like the. A strong start and then they start dropping off i, I don't know if, if 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 they if they can hit a bit of media blitz i've seen i've seen some campaigns pick it up but it, again that was like early days of kickstarter people mm. are a lot more jaded when it comes to games Video on games kickstarter, kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one or, has a demo so there's that <laughs> exactly <laughs> one of the reasons i wanted to talk about it give it a nice little plug because you know hey if it's your thing throw it down you know 70 bucks if you want to keep track with it because you'll get those early access and you know Go for support, it. Support fighting games on Linux, right? Right. Yes. Next thing you know, we'll get a sports game other than Axis Football Insert Current Year. No, there, there's that hockey game too. Huh? There is? Yeah, that, that, that like Sega Genesis style hockey game. Oh, like, that, like, oh, oh yes, oh, yes, yes, right, yes, right, yes. Right, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. A Blood Bowl. But hockey. this is not yeah, a yeah. Genesis style unless the Genesis developed uh, 3D capabilities in the time I wasn't looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Loco Soccer. Which I guess is relevant because the uh, I World Cup is still going. Keyboard word in the comments. There's no, well, you know, you could probably do this in the Dreamcast. Pedro, I, 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 sh- Pedro, why aren't you calling it Loco Football? Right, <laughs> because the name of the game is Loco Soccer. Right, uh, but but as, <laughs> as a Portuguese person, you should refuse to call it that. Uh, here's the thing: I am a terrible Portuguese person because, besides hating fish and the heat and the beach, uh, I don't like football or soccer or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, this one, on the other hand, looks more like, well, like Rocket League, because you have all the aerial bullshittery and some random um, physics that you have to account for. In fact, they very much call it a fast paced physics based casual football game. So, yeah, they call it Loco Soccer, but then they refer to it as a football game. So I don't know where they're from. I not by I don't know, Pedro. I'm looking at the trailer <laughs> and I'm like, you throw in like a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of cosmetics and you got fucking FIFA. Uh, I mean, <laughs> without the, uh, you know, human rights abuse and everything else. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting some like ghost in the shell standalone complex flashbacks for some reason. I don't know. Don't, don't know why, but you know what? What's, what's cool about this. It's got online co-op and it's got five V five yes. versus. So that qualifies it for premium after show bait. 100% yeah, it does. No, that's already 10 players in the same match, this. man. Yeah. <laughs> that ball looks like a fish in that gif. Hey, that person's got on a dinosaur hat. So, yes, yeah, CMOS, <laughs> Linux, we're going to, it runs on any operating system that's called Linux. So, 100 <laughs> megs of space. And, 
you know, looked a little. This is like this is the modern reinterpretation of uh, Loco Soccer, the original classic from 2015. But you know, it's got the updated graphics and it's got online play. So my first thought when I saw this I was like, imagine if our tanks had legs. <laughs> Yeah, armored armored core, right? No, we play Shocker, man, and uh, World of, not World of Warcraft. In, in, in World of Warcraft, yeah, World of Tankcraft, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People tune in every every week to watch us play hey, World of Warcraft. You shut the fuck up, man. Dwarves can make a tank if they wanted to. <laughs> I, that, that that's true. I we that. are the tanks. We are the tanks. Oh man, no, it's Shell Shock for anyone listening. <laughs> No, it's it's clearly World of Warcraft. What are you talking about? That game that Scott Michaud spends hours of his life playing. World of War Tanks. Well, I mean, it, it is a perfect Scott locator. You can find if Scott's within the vicinity of Wi-Fi. It's true. That's yeah. true. Uh, B- Barony, they got a they got an update. Uh, these are, I guess, our game update section. Uh, yeah, Quality of Death V three eighty five. This game's been out for a while. Okay, uh, can we just talk about that real quick? Yeah, um, sure. We yeah. all discovered that we have this game, and I we don't, don't know where we you, got you, it from. Yeah, uh, Jordan doesn't, but the two of us do, and um, I've never played it. This is totally my jam, by the way. I probably right, it, it, uh, seeked out this game at some point. I've had it, it since 2016, multiplayer apparently. Morrowind, basically, it's like a, yeah. it's like a dungeon crawler, <laughs> like uh, Ultima Underworld, but it can do like up to a four-player co-op. And like, yeah, Pedro, you and I had the same reaction, like. Oh fuck! Yes, this is this is this is what I want. And um, I get to play it. It's like, how did that happen? Yeah, I haven't touched it either, but it was in my library. I'm like, why? Well, how? Uh, well, they got uh, they got a bunch of updates. Uh, they have custom class hotbars. One of the one of the games things this game does is they have a bunch of different DLCs. If you want to unlock all the various like weird monster classes, they release them and you can just grab them for pretty cheap. Uh, but if you can if you set up a hotbar for your class, you can save and export them. If you set up a new character, uh, they rebalance the base class. Apparently, the shopkeepers are going to be a lot less hostile now, which you know, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. But they, they they have an entire breakdown of how this thing works. Uh, there's there's a new item, some map changes. Um, Class yeah. rebalancing, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's 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 a it's a it's a pretty chunky update, and a lot of this is like in-game information that would probably make sense to me had I actually played this game. But uh, with 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 this update, uh, yeah, def- definitely really want to give this another look now. Yeah, because it looks pretty good. I mean, you can pick it up as fourteen ninety nine, and they've they've done a couple of things. I the main one I did is like after I discovered I had it, I'm like, hey, well, hey maybe since it's got four players we could play it in the oh look rats let's see what the requirements were from way back when uh 1404 <laughs> baby um, <laughs> all right yeah, it came out 2015 so yeah we're all be very <laughs> careful if you're on a mac running linux get fucked two button mouse i'm sure macs have two buttons now but um nope 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 <laughs> the huh. magic mouse has a single button, though you can do touch on what, the yeah. mouse and it'll recognize like yeah, two yeah, fingers yeah, yeah, i was about to ask what do you have like a mac top <laughs> Yeah, two, two finger attack two yeah. finger two finger click punch um so the text is completely broken in this game on the linux version like laughably like i thought yeah. it was an effect it was going to depixelize and turn into readable text uh uh-uh. it's <laughs> the main menu is like welp um we'll probably just play with we'll proton or whatever i'd love to see these two play it's not necessarily my jam i would just be the guy that'd have to keep alive but i'd still play so All right. there right. you go now needs I more rays. Playing with portals, man. Playing with portals. Portal RTX is available. It's out. It's not Linux native. It's got mixed reviews, but it's fucking free, and I want to talk about it just because I think it's a uh, little bit of a victory lap just for Proton itself. Because look how hard you can drop your FPS now <laughs> in Portal. I mean, amazing how this works. Um, but it is a one for Proton. I played it on my 3060. It was able to crush this with a mind melting 56 to occasionally 62. If I was staring at a corner with nothing shiny on it at 1080p with the DLSS set on balance and ray tracing on kind of medium, you could kind of tell some things were ray tracing. It didn't look like this shit. I mean, just going to say that. Even this looks a little chuggy at times. Um, yeah, it didn't look quite this good. I was because this is path traced like the Quake 2 RTX was mm. instead mm-hmm. of just ray traced, which is a lot more. A lot more intensive. And uh, on the 3060, I mean, it technically worked. And I've been over this multiple times. Sold on DLSS. And on the AMD side, I'm glad they're doing the FSR. 
right? I mean, that technology is Scandinavian witchcraft. RTX from day one with the launch of the 20 series, I'm like, I'm not terribly impressed. Oh, look, there's reflections in the puddles. <laughs> this is like walking into a puddle gallery, okay? That, this is, was my playtime of like walking around and putting a box next to a light source going, yep, that, that's uh, doing the light thing. That's pretty neat. Then it crashes. So yeah, that's pretty much my. I, I yeah, didn't you spend got further than I did. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you tried to play with one of those AMD cards, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I I threw the sixty seven hundred XT at it, uh, and the first thing I got was a little error box to say your GPU is not compatible. So, oh yeah, no, I had that with the um, Quake Two RTX. So just drop a rad v underscore perf test equals RT uh, into the. Uh, pre-launch options and it'll get past that error message and then you see the little overlay indicator at the top to say that the nvidia remix overlay is available cool i skipped the um the valve intro screens and the nvidia lightspeed studios intro screen gets to the um loading screen and it crashes okay i i, I guess i guess we're not playing <laughs> portal rtx <laughs> Yeah, Although, I, I, some, I didn't some people bother. on the deck had a moderate success. Uh, they were able to launch it, but half of the textures didn't load, and the camera was incorrectly positioned inside the character model, so you could see some shell outlines. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, like it was always going to be one of those things of like, yeah, this is this is an NVIDIA product for NVIDIA to, NVIDIA to show off the cool NVIDIA stuff. So it's probably not going to work on your Intel Arc GPU. I can't even play it on my peasant. 1080 Ti, because uh, I, I remember what happened with Quake 2 RTX. It was a very lovely slideshow. But like, yeah, I don't know. The, the trailer to me made it seem shuggier than usual, usual. This is a neat little technical experiment, but I don't know. What I, I, I can't fault them for not uh, putting this out on Linux, though, because like OG Portal and Alien Swarm were like the two Valve games that never made it over Linux. Left I guess technically, time. I guess technically uh, Alex is also on that list. Uh, but yeah, also I have my doubts that Lightspeed Studios would be able to like program something to work with Linux. So know. wait, OG the, Portal came out on Linux. It yeah. was Left 4 Dead. Did it? Didn't. Uh -huh. left, oh, was it? Okay. Uh, the first Left 4 Dead. The first Left 4 Dead. <laughs> but everyone, if you bring that up, they'll remind you that all the levels are in Left 4 Dead too. So you need to be yes. quiet. <laughs> no, you should be playing Back for Blood now. What, what, Grandpa playing Left 4 Dead too? <laughs> joke, but they're getting ready to drop the uh, new one. All the new areas, we, we got more of that to come back and play. Looking forward to it, can you tell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Need, needs more trading cards. All right, well, coming up next, I'm going to try and get this fucking fog machine behind me working because I plugged it in, and it's not heating up this time around, so I'm uh -oh. going to go check that out. But let's, let's turn your PlayStation Classic into a Roland MK2. Why not? Beep, boop. Okay. Uh, I'm currently not drinking alcoholic like drinks, but after that uh, previous, <laughs> after that previous break, <laughs> what we took in between oh, no. these two segments, uh, uh -huh. I, I am feeling the bit, um, the need for some, but before we get into that, uh, we should absolutely thank Here at LGC, you. try our, yes, yes, pina coladas. <laughs> yeah. You want your pina colada to bleed? We got you covered. Uh, man, yes, that's just what you colada, need. Like, but like, with more clam. Co 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 coconut, <laughs> some pineapple, clam, and tomato, man. <laughs> it's basically, it's basically drinking a Hawaiian pizza. If you want to order me a Hawaiian pizza, head <laughs> over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast and tell me why my, ch ch my choice of pizza is trash. And I'll tell you that it's still fucking delicious. Where do you get yeah, pineapple? I like pineapple on my pizza. All right. I, I just yeah. like pineapple in general. It's great. Uh, it's the only food that digests you as you're trying to digest it. <laughs> it um, back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Sign up. You can get access to our Discord channel, which you can also get by subbing to us on Twitch here. Twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Link your accounts. Stuff will happen magically. We have no control over it. We're sorry. Uh, we got um, you, a couple of levels that you can pledge to us on Patreon. And get access to our show notes at the death note level. You can see the show congeal over the course of the week. Uh, you can buy your way on the goddamn show. Uh, if you're in discord, you can RSVP to game streams. I'm doing borderlands on Thursdays. Uh, Ven is doing track mania on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you want to play some games with us, uh, you want to hang out, uh, get into our discord and RSVP to those things. 
we got a store as well. Store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy some t-shirts, buy some coffee cups, buy some stickers, buy some masks, uh, buy some women's shirts or some tote bags. We have those now. If you want to like go grocery, man, I want to get a couple of those Frank ones and go to like fucking Loblaws and like buy groceries <laughs> and just like confuse the fuck out of people. <laughs> At the, at the checkout line and you can do that too uh we have uh we have lit wish loans as well uh here i should i should do this now there we go special uh, effects budget special <laughs> effects bu- bu- budget brought to you by oil of hope i gotta i gotta thank him uh if you go to linuxgamecast.com oh god it's everywhere i'm being consumed by silent hill uh mouse your put your mouse over the support button i have a wish zone uh ven has one pedro has one jill has one uh, if you are like Oil of Hope and you buy Bog Juice, you can send us a little note. Uh, I, I have this one here. And he says, so did you think you were getting away with it? Fill her up and puff, 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 you magic dragon from Oil of Hope. Yeah, he bought me a liter of uh, Fog Juice. And apparently <laughs> th- that is like a year's supply of Fog Juice. So we... <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that is what we're hearing. Oh, <laughs> man, up next, somebody needs to get Jordan the AK-47 machine gun. Someone, someone needs to. I want that. I will start learning. <laughs> I'll start relearning guitar if someone buys me that. Um, Pedro's got files and other home invasion equipment. Uh, as always. <laughs> it's just an electronic uh, screwdriver. <laughs> Clearly, he wants a to break into your house and water cool your PC. And uh, yeah, I've got power supplies and stuff on the studio one. So there is that. We do thank you for your support. It's pretty dope. We love hanging out with you. I got some things planned. I got all the. I think I have all the parts needed for the Steam Rectangle. Uh, hopefully, they'll all come in before the end of this month, and we'll be able to do a live stream, mm. which will be interesting. Sticking all that together, um, micro ATX build with all AMD system, baby, and hopefully everything will work. That'll be fun, and looking forward to that. But Amazon's like. It'll show up whenever, and it's changed the whenever time twice. I'm like, oh. <laughs> they, got, they got sued for that recently. Uh, there was like where, where they were, they were like claiming two day shipping, and then they were changing that after people clicked uh, purchase. God, dude, it, in December, I, I'm not going to pick that battle. I'm like, it'll get here when it gets here. You know, it's like apparently, know, apparently, apparently, this was filed like a while ago. But oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I got another thing. I actually like two or three things I'm working on. One involves spray painting a sound card. So. I'll let you think about that. Needs more RGB. <laughs> you, you need, whatever you do, you need to post the result of that <laughs> to some audio file for him and just l- let him have it. No, you, 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 gotta, you gotta post it with the caption, witness me, and just like fucking spray your mouth with fucking spray paint. Like, ah! It is, um, it, it, it is for audio. Uh, there, there, there's a, I, I will, I will. Uh, I'll, audio I'll, file spray paint. <laughs> There will be an engineering case behind this, Pedro. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Stay tuned. This is some prime engineering, which is like regular hacky stuff, but it's like built for life hacky stuff. <laughs> stuff that you can rely on, but you're like, oh, this, that's not the right way to do that. I'm like, yes, but it's reliable. So stay tuned for that. Love hanging out with each and every one of you, and uh, thank you for your support. Now, I want to come play Track Mania with us. Oh, and we need to thank, thank um, people. Foxy oh, yeah, yeah. as well. Because uh, he bought me ukulele and the impossible lair. Oh, yeah. Which was not on my wish list, but thank you anyway. For well, seeing. he bought me Zombie Mama Snoo Snoo, which might have been on my wish list. <laughs> that, I, I think that's Resident Evil 8 Village. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Big vampire mummy. <laughs> yeah. Big vampire steppy mummy. Yeah. And uh, all of our Twitch subs uh, Skittles, Velcro Tech, Nubbin, and Gamatron, who have all resubbed. Yes. Several now. of them show up on the fuck wall. Uh, at the end of yes. The do they? <laughs> yeah. uh, at least Game of Tron does. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, Game of Tron's there. <laughs> yeah, they're right, right behind Ven's See, See yeah. the smart people. They hide up top. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, now's the time. You can get your name up there, and most people will never see it. <laughs> no one can name or shame you. But you know who needs naming and shaming? People who bought PlayStation Classics. Why would you do that when a PC You're never going to let this go, man. Day in never. and day out. He's like, fuck these motherfuckers buying their little <laughs> tiny consoles. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you can literally just run a PlayStation emulator on your phone. Why would you do this? But, you know, if you got an old PS Classic laying around, uh, well, maybe, maybe not one of the eight. It. 
Maybe not one of the Asian versions, not one of the Hong Kong or Japan versions, but uh, you can get Debian, uh, Debian 11 working on it. Uh, with, with some caveats, uh, USB on the go is a little buggy. If you if you boot the thing up with all your peripherals attached, then it should work. There's really only a gig of RAM on here, so there's not too much that you can run concurrently. They'll give you a use case here if you want to emulate a Roland MK2 for uh, like some home synthesizer projects, which maybe not a bad idea, uh, but uh, it doesn't, it doesn't fully nuke your PS classic. It gives you an option to restore. If you uh, want to go back to playing, I guess, legend of dragoon. That's the, that's the PlayStation game I enjoyed. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, we, we have a lot of these like single board computers that like Sega and PlayStation, uh, Sony and Nintendo release that are, it's like, okay, well now that I've played all the ROMs on here that I can just like download from archive.org, uh, what, what, what do now? install debian on it do something useful yeah i mean i guess they're using lxqt on that very very slow arm chip use lxd or just open box also conky doesn't need to be running stop including conky out of the box please how dare you man um (laughs) i if you jumped on that many those things were hot for a minute right everybody had one nintendo had one uh yeah sega made one i mean sega's still making them but you know here's the thing though uh, it's a 35 these things are cheap. You can probably buy one on eBay. You can find one at a consignment shop for like a buck. So maybe you want to play around with the proprietary drivers provided in the stock firmware, complete train wreck. So, uh, they only like partially work on Wayland. Just keep all this stuff in mind. And, uh, Jordan said there are some issues with USB and by that he means they're nearly completely unusable. So yeah, a, little, a little bit, and you're going to max that resolution out at 1080p and the guy even says, this is complete proof of concept. I'm not going to be doing any additional work for the foreseeable future. I just wanted to see if this could be done. It has been done. But for you retro enthusiasts, those of you who are new to Linux, now you too can kind of just kind of get a taste of what it was like running other OS on your PS3 before Sony took that away. Because this is about equivalent to what you could do with other OS, isn't it, Pedro? Or, or, or like with early, a little bit more RAM. Or like early days of Linux where like your USB stuff wouldn't work because your SATA drivers weren't compiled properly in the kernel. So, yeah. Um, Retro man, experience. I spent a lot, of, a lot of time with the PS2s. Like, I didn't go to like USB peripherals until probably like 2005, mm. 2006. Because, yeah, yeah, that shit sometimes just wouldn't work, man, and I didn't want to fight with it. Mm-hmm. For sure. It wasn't until uh, USB-C that that the that was feature complete and working on Linux before it was working properly everywhere else, so that's neat. <laughs> Do yeah, now, 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 it's, now it's weird that like stuff gets support in Linux like years before general availability. It's like, oh, does this work? Yes, it's been working since like 2015. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I mean, especially like, okay, we think about this uh, when multi-core really started taking off, well, like Epic and stuff like yeah. that, and um, Intel was having all this problem, and Windows just still couldn't... F- How long was it? Like a year and a half for Windows figured out what the hell a Threadripper was? Right. Yeah, they yeah. could not figure out the Numa nodes at all, and it would throw a fit if you ran something that had the audacity to try and use all of the cores. Yeah, <laughs> that oh, governor no. did not like AMD Threadripper. even had to put a thing. He was like, here, we'll just cut <laughs> half of it off Windows, little buddy. Here's mm-hmm. your glue stick. Quit, quit panicking. <laughs> and it was just never an issue on Linux at all. So, um, M- multitasking, hmm. man. It's like the operating system was built from the ground up to do that almost. Oh, man. Blockbench is not a blockchain. It's a low poly 3D model editor. Yeah. And uh, apparently it's uh, real easy to use, or so uh, the developers claim. It's open source. You can go grab it, download the uh, pre compiled version, or get the source code and build it yourself. And uh, I was looking through it. Can I just like, play okay. with her wiggly window? On the- <laughs> you, you can't just scroll I, I mean, up you, and down. You, you, can, you can just launch the thing in your browser because that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you say that, too. but I'm feeling pretty good about the wiggly window. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I wiggle, I wiggle away, buddy. Uh, okay. don't, don't let me stop you. Find your bliss. Yeah, you can, uh, you can export it to uh, a bunch of different formats, and there's a bunch of things that are using it, like Nox Crew, Minecraft, Cyclone, Everbloom Games, Spark Universe. There's a few ones there, uh, but yeah, no. I want this to be able to export something that, say, is able to... <laughs> make a trackmania compatible um car model and very very quickly i can see the people that ven plays the game with 
adopting the low res retro style cars very very quickly that yeah that'll be nice <laughs> so right right now I, I played around a little bit with the uh with the editor just in the browser uh they have presets for uh mostly minecraft skins and blocks um but uh for both uh, java edition and bedrock but it is open source they do have a little github icon up at the top you can go there so hopefully some people will see this and we can get in support in there for stuff like mind test or Valorant or any of the other like voxel games that are like open source and mm-hmm. could use some more content because i could i could really see like Valoran really benefiting from this really turning speeding up their asset creation time for sure oh man i'm, I'm digging this this is like ms paint for smart kids yeah um, yes <laughs> It's what Paint 3D should have been. <laughs> and will never be, man. Uh, Tilt brush, baby. Draw those flaming penises in the sky. <laughs> dude, I love me some retro hipster pixel action. And you know what? This has got it. Our next story. Our next thing on the docket. That's it. Which you could also play in the browser. <laughs> right? See, this is like what I'm debating right now as I'm stalling. I'm like, do I click <laughs> run game? <laughs> will, will, will it work? Will it just break my system? Um, I mean, that would be irresponsible. Oops. Uh, to do during a live stream. Yeah, um, may or may not work. What well, are we talking assembly about? assembly is crazy, man. It's nuts. Dude, there it is. Isn't it? <laughs> a N64 era inspired style D make of Rocket League, aka Rocket Cars. And here it is, everyone. This thing is, for lack of a better word, fucking charming all right it just is i'm pretty happy with it the physics are kind of there and it it really feels like that you know Mm -hmm. in 64 era it's got that feel you don't um works with the controller kinda and uh you know initially this (laughs) didn't have a linux build but they've since went back and added that and it's a good o game so it was pretty easy to get up and running on linux anyway you Can do I, have to uh, chmod.x or plus x on the uh, Linux version, though. They yes, just yeah, I know. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Bonk. I don't know. Whoa, yeah. oh, oh, right. No, no, no explosions. That's, yeah. <laughs> we, it's, the, it's the skeleton of the game. Unlimited boost. Yes. Yeah. That means about no, to be the, unlimited what, crashing. Watch me. What yeah. they need to do is uh, increase the size of the arena to the point where they have to use like distance fog to uh, <laughs> hide the things. And oops. Uh, and the um, make it four on four m- multiplayer yeah. online. No, that's it. That's to all to they do, need to do. <laughs> they they need to like extract a bunch of sound effects from Chris Pratt in the Mario movie and use those as the sound effects for this game. Woohoo! Woo-hoo. <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah. Here we go, dude. I'm 100 percent with Pedro Mateus on this. If you uh, just open source this, okay? Because Nintendo's going to sue somebody anyway. Wait, not well. Nintendo's going to try to because it's fucking Nintendo, right? <laughs> Yeah, 60, you put 64 we, we, we in the, the name. That's yeah, a we, we own the registered trademark. <laughs> right. And yeah, it's good. Oh, open source it. Let the community play around with it. Because I could see this with some proper games that gamepad support. Keep the aesthetics. Keep the look. You know, tune the physics up. Maybe put some all, screen online, support in there. Online multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's baby. that's the requirement. Can, 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 can <laughs> Focus you, on the this, multiplayer. Yes. This is like, please, can you just make Rocket League? This is all we want. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I we played the snot out of it, man. That's that that that's my style right there. Some janky D make. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, let's, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, looking forward to it because you're never going to be able to monetize this again. Mm-hmm. You're going to get sued out of existence. So yeah. no, you, you can have the <laughs> Operation Epic Pink Eye and crossover. Nintendo would right. come after your ass. <laughs> that's what you need. You need a Zenimax. Uh, well, who owns Epic these days? Tencent. Tencent. Yeah, uh, Tencent, Tencent has Nintendo, like 49% uh, yeah. and uh, Sweeney has the other. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be part of that sandwich. Um, <laughs> excellent work. Really cool. And yeah, I, I'd like to see people play around with it because immediately when we brought the software, it was like, what are technically doing? I, I saw these comments on Reddit about like how it's not accurate to the N60. I can see the dude is like, fuck right off. You get what I'm doing, man. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, it doesn't run on original hardware, you nerds. That would be pretty dope if they could actually get this running on an N64, though. It would be, but honestly, you know what? See, that would be too new. If you could get this running, what was the first system with a, on, that we could still get online currently? Would it be the PS2? A PSU with some custom servers, probably. Yeah, uh, with a custom server, the, the PSU or the Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Yeah. yeah. 
Because yeah, there's, uh, can, there's one you can run the, on the Raspberry Pi for the Dreamcast. You can yeah, just emulate. There is. Yeah. The 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 SNES like in Japan had some basic online stuff too. Don't think we could get away running this on a 68k though. Uh, well, no, um, no. and when it comes to like the aesthetics, yeah, this reminds me a little bit more of like PS1 era than N64. Well, oh, I shouldn't say era bit. when I say like graphically. And then again, you also had Superman 64. <laughs> All I'm hearing is you want rings added to this. <laughs> Needs more rings. We need drop shot Oops. is what we're saying. <laughs> Hoops or drop shot. Oh, oh, you know, we need we need like Superman 64 across Top Gun for the NES. Uh, yes. <laughs> what Jordan said, put capes on the car. Yes. Then we're done. All right. We're good. All right. All right. Well, coming up next, it's not Dark Souls. Uh yeah, it's definitely not Dark Souls. We're throwing okay. chairs at Curse of Eternity. Border Souls 3, baby. All right, it's time to dodge roll. It's the Sharequisition time, where we take a game, run it on a bunch of different Linuxes with a bunch of different hardware, and then we tell you, uh, we give you a rating based on lawn chairs. It's hyper-specific. It's hyper accurate. you totally going to get what we're saying. One chair means that it's garbage. Four chairs means that it's great. Uh, this week we're taking a look at Curse of Eternity, uh, developed by Imakita Games, done on the Unity engine. You pick it up for about 20 bucks US. Was it a hardcore action RPG with diverse combat and beat space multiplexing? Start as one of three hero builds and either continue on to specialize or branch out and make your build your own. Slice, shoot, zap, and sh- or slice, shoot, and zap your way through a dystopian world and fulfill your own deific journey. You gotta thank Imik- Imakita Games for uh, sending us some keys. Uh, let's get into it. How did it run on Debian? I don't know. I just I was just reminded of like how how you prance when you're locked on. <laughs> big uh, Big Daddy Bioshock's gonna sue somebody. Oh man, they're gonna think <laughs> about it, man. That's for sure. Check this out over here on Debian testing bookworm. As it's currently known, out of the gate, you got a couple options, man. OpenGL and Vulkan, Wayland, and all that. OpenGL works. Vulkan does that frame hitching thing. If you're not running a compositor, kind of like Hollow Knight used to do, or actually still does if you're running with uh without a compositor. Um, your opt out of data collection thing. That button doesn't do shit on Debian. It worked for me. It, it just it opened in the browser. <laughs> oh, no, not the information, the opt out. Clicking on opt yeah, out. Yeah, it opened a window in the browser to the Unity website and you opt out of everything, which was weird. <laughs> I just sit and clicked and clicked and clicked. I'm like, whatever, I don't care. All the other games are taking my data anyway. However, the agreed button worked to treat. Now I'm getting about 70. FPS at 1440 and 100 and at 1080. And that's with OpenGL. Everything maxed right the hell out. I do suggest cutting everything down to fugly and trying to spot the difference. So big performance bump. <laughs> and uh, it did pick up the Xbox One XS controller, whatever it is, and the PS4 out of the box, but it only gave me the moon glyphs for the Xbox controller. And it does make sounds and it does have a sound drive, but nothing terribly memorable. Because I want to talk about the fun real quick, though. This is 20 bucks for a five-hour game. That's according to the developer. Even the developer's like, yeah, it's five hours. You know, eight if you want to stretch it out. And, you know, I knew that going in because I took a peek at it last week in the forums when we first gave this a mention on last week's show. It functions as a game. That's what I'll say about this. You can boop things. You can roll around. And, of course, you can die. You get weapons. You get ability points. And melee combat... It's kind of clunky and impactless, you know, you genuinely boop things. You don't really like crush into them and, uh, you know, knock back all that fun stuff. Ranged was okay. If you got the patience, but I mean, it's a soul game, souls game. You, you got patience if you're into souls like, so you do you. And the area is a little bit bearing, bearing, barren, but plenty of baddies crawling around and, you know, stuff to engage with. After an hour, I'm still at this technically functions as a game. But at no point was I drawn into it at all. And, you know, the only Souls game I've ever played was Dark Souls 3. And it was all right. I, I, I could see the appeal in it. This, I just didn't see what was going on. You know, like if we're looking at the video right now and you're seeing Pedro fly around. I'm like, it's a whole lot of empty space, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I will say this, uh, the developer, since you're probably going to be watching this, not many people have covered this. You need to bring that demo back, man. You do. Let people play around with it before they uh, think about dropping that 1999 to get into it. But you know what? You get two chairs. That's middle of the road. That's me saying it functions as a game. How about you, Jordan? 
Well, on Fedora 35 64-bit with the R930-900X and the GTX 1080Ti. Yeah, it holds 60 at uh, 1080p with Vulkan on medium. Yeah, gotta use that OpenGL version, though. It is a little chug city, even though the frames per second is reporting, like, pretty high, even at UHD. I think I'd hit about 80 uh, or 87. Uh, yeah, it's still super chuggy unless you drop it down to uh, OpenGL. But like Ven said, you can also kill the quality, and you won't be able to tell the difference, but you will. the game will run better. That's for sure, certain. Um, Cause it's a Dark Souls clone, uh, it maps the attack to the right bumper and trigger. I personally like attacking with square and triangle. So if you remap it accordingly, you can't use ranged weapons uh, because you need to hold down the button to aim and uh, release to fire. So I had to resort to the odd time I was using range, fast switching to uh, controller to mouse. Uh, I won't recommend it though, because it takes forever to fucking kill shit with uh, range attacks. It's better to tough it out melee wise. and. Fun-wise, this is definitely another one of these games that are going to end up in one of those Iron Pineapple videos. I never actually watch. I see Artharon and Pedro post them all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's definitely a Souls-like. Uh, uh, and it seems like, a, it's, seems like it's a technically competent addition to the genre. And honestly, I'm pretty lukewarm on the gameplay for Souls-likes. The thing that usually draws me in is like the production design. Stuff like Hellpoint at least like fills the world with cool looking shit that's going to kill you over and over and over again. Here, it's just kind of like World of Warcraft generic fantasy. It didn't really grab my attention. I didn't really feel any like real desire to explore the world. I will say though, props to the environment designer uh, because the maps are very well educated. They play around a lot with your camera blind spots. Like it was, it was pretty well done. Um, plus like some of the environments are pretty neat to fight in. There's a quite a variety and ample ways you can find yourself accidentally dodging off of a cliff and to your death. Cause you thought you had a little bit more step, but you don't. Um, yeah, the, 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 the combat itself is like not very impactful, um, wasn't super big fan of it. It's, um, it didn't really click for me until I found the halberd. I was like, before I was like, I didn't really find a weapon that matches my play style. Never mind. I found the halberd. I can go poke, pokey swing. And that's all right. Uh, it got a little better after that, but no, no, nothing really stellar. I'm gonna give it two chairs. It works. Um, I don't hate it, but eh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make me run and sing its praises. Uh, I guess as the uh, resident uh, Souls fan, I, I I ended up playing for like two and a half hours. So it launched out of the box uh, on the desktop and on the Steam Deck. Uh, it almost holds 144 2560 by 1440 on the RX uh, 6700 XT and the 5800 X3D on the desktop. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking at the video version, you can see exactly how it looks. You can actually see the post-processing that's happening there, which is not a good thing. It's uh, just turn it off, turn off the post-processing, although it does mask the motion blur, so I guess that's a bonus. Uh, on the Steam Deck, it almost holds 60 at uh, 1280 by 800 uh, on medium, uh, whatever they call the medium preset, so that's good enough. Uh, and the um, enemy idle chatter, I noticed this because it was really jarring. The enemy idle chatter is uh, louder, than when you're actually on their ass smacking them in the face. It is, um, that was a little bit uh, weird. The combat is basically what you get when you ask Ven to describe Dark Souls combat. <laughs> it's someone who listened to Ven and went, oh, is that all you need to do? Okay, there it is. Uh, but yeah, the uh, key thing to point out here compared to last week is that it functions pretty much as you expect. Except for the post-processing, but we've been through that. Uh, it's no stupid controller fuck-ups, no crashing when you set it to full screen. They didn't even claim that they only tested it on the deck for it to be revealed that that was clearly not the case. No, no, no. See, I make the games only tested Curse of Eternity by their own admission on Ubuntu. And it works on Nobara, and it works on the deck with no issues. Except the performance, sometimes. But I didn't hate it. I, I did not hate it at all. Um... There was thought uh, put into how things were laid out, the way that you traverse through all the different areas. Uh, there really isn't a need to backtrack past each of the areas because they're all fairly self-contained. It does the whole Souls, uh, Dark Souls 1 thing where you loop back around and you unlock the shortcut to the bonfire thingy. Uh, it's a linear Souls-like and there's nothing wrong with that as a concept. That's fine. Uh, the 
combat I already mentioned is oversimplified, very much like uh, the uh, the last hero of Nostalgia. That's something that I've played recently. It's very similar. Um, though it does improve on the magic system. Uh, that's the unlocking minigame if you're looking at the video version now. But the magic system, they actually improved on it by allowing you to buy the bind eight different spells or weapons to a HUD wheel or a shortcut key. That's an improvement over the um, video game awards game of the year, Elden Ring, because the magic system in the Souls games has always been a little bit limited. So that's a marked improvement. But uh, yeah, the stilted character movement, the pre-baked enemy uh, combat animations, which were clearly bought off the Unity Asset Store because I've seen them before. I have. <laughs> yeah, it, it's jarring to see in a otherwise perfectly serviceable game. I I was genuinely surprised when the buildings and the tents actually stopped enemy projectiles, but I, I'm just jaded at this point. They, they actually put some work into the assets that they got, so good job. Uh, to them, if it was ten dollars instead of twenty, I'd give it three chairs, so it gets two. All right. Oh man, uh, you know what? I'll say this much. I I, I will say this much. Uh, there was an attempt to make a cohesive graphical experience. Yeah, mm. uh, although clearly what they wanted, I mm, uh, you, you know the conspiracy theorist in me is saying that they wanted to shop the level up system around to people that were making souls legs, and when no one took them on the offer, they just made their own with Unity Storebot assets. I mean, possibly, but I mean, it's an interesting world where lighting doesn't exist. <laughs> no, no, there's, there's, you there's just, just see the circles painted source. on the floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I mean, I am curious as what this looks like without the cell shading shader. I, we will I, never I, know. I, I'm I'm curious, like what what the what the guys like um what the guys like design doc for the world was, or if it was just like, hey, let's see what I can like make look reasonably consistent with all these pre baked assets. And again, I mean it for what it is. I mean, it's consistent as you could make it, right? Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it's it's it, it like it's very very clearly a small team game. There's like a decent amount of effort into it. It's not lazily done, uh, but mm -hmm. there's de it definitely has some warts. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I think I think that does it for us. Coming up next, uh, Ven answers more audio problems, and uh, Pedro gets circumcised. The end is coming. Well, it it, it has come. It's here. Uh, woe to the end. <laughs> woe to the unforgiven and uh yeah if you'd like to let us know what uh manner of unspeakable acts we have committed during the show you absolutely can and more importantly you absolutely should this isn't called the hate mail for gigs and shittles no it's so, called toaster time i thought I, th I thought we were i thought we were going back to talking about metallica for a nope, second you're all just doing all unforgiven <laughs> Well, we have well, done the Unforgiven, but that's already done. So if you go done, to LinuxGameCast.com. Is, is that like doing com, the Needful? <laughs> <laughs> LinuxGameCast.com. Hit the contact button. Fairly easy. Eventual. There's some caveats you got to read at the top of the page there, but uh, you just pick LGC Weekly as the show you want to send your hate mail to. Do the and Needful. And fill out the rest dun, dun, of the form. Dun, dun, dun. Do, do the, no, do, do the Vengeful, man. Do the vegetable. I don't have a no button on this yeah. keyboard. <laughs> I want to hit it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a couple of bits for you tonight. Uh, somebody sent us a little bit of love. A little bit of a digital hog, but we do a live and uncut series. We put that up uh, next day for patrons or Twitch subscribers if you want to go back and watch it on Twitch. But uh, we also have it in podcast format and... Use that Twitch uh, Prime subscription. Get access to our VODs. Spin those Bezos box, baby. Yeah. And um, But we have an uncut channel on YouTube. It's at the bottom of a regular YouTube. It's a recommended channel. And it comes up a week later. And Chris writes in. He says, hey, man, I don't regularly use Linux. I rarely play anything. Yet I look forward to these every week. Thanks for the show, guys. Aww. Why would you do that? Why would you willingly submit yourself to that? What have you learned via osmosis? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it's a dangerous man. Four hours of just <laughs> shit talking. <laughs> like, because, like, there, there, there's some, like, actual good Linux conversations in here sometimes. So, like, <laughs> there is. There is the, the, this is the beautiful, there's the reason I 
go through the trouble of producing the uncut series is like because I myself want something I'm vaguely interested in playing in the background that you can occasionally tune into. I'm like, hey, what are they up to? Wait, huh? oh, that was neat. What, 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 what the fuck is this? What are they talking about? <laughs> As you were, background noise. Okay. Um, so, hey, man, thanks for watching. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. But uh, real quick, Devin. Yeah, Devin, uh, they say, hey, I've been down- recently downloading some of your raw files to mix, and I want to thank you for sharing them. I found your post on Reddit from about eight months ago. I was wondering which microphones you guys use. You all sound great. It seems you're all using different microphones. It would be nice to have a better idea of what equipment is being used. We have a page for this on our website, don't we? Do we? No? Didn't, didn't we at one point? Um, at some point? All right. Check it out, Chris. Wait, Devin. <laughs> Sorry. Chris, <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening, stick Cre- around. Crevin. Right Crevin. Chris Devin. Linux game guys, we go to the about because I don't know where else to put it. Like, if I was going to about mm, yeah. studio equipment, mm-hmm. we go to studio equipment and we go, there's video storage, audio, office stuff, pie stuff, electric stuff. So we're going to go to audio and we, there's a great deal on AKG headphones. Uh, here's the microphones. Oh, those so, Sony MDRs are pretty cheap. They... 80 bucks. Yeah, that's a good yeah, price. That's... Yeah, that, that is. Oh, wait, no, that's that's US, though. I'm like, oh, fuck, right? Uh, it's like 300, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Four microphones we're currently using. I'm using the Electro Voice RE27 ND. Dynamic. Uh, Pedro, you're using the Rode Procaster, right? Yes. Big thank you to the kind stranger who sent it to me. That's very nice. <laughs> and Jordan is using the tried, the true, the classic, the, venerable. the OG, <laughs> Audio Technica AT. 20 20 baby still boggles me that the usb one is cheaper than the xlr one right 69 bucks yeah like what i guess they sell that, more that, of those so they build more I, of them so it becomes I, I, anime I, scale i, I, I guess yeah. like because once, once upon a time it was the other way around like i got this one for like maybe 10 20 bucks cheaper than the usb one but right that 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 has changed damn mm. what i was really impressed with is uh you know i it makes me there's a reason i put out uh dry mixes multi-track mixes you know no processing or anything like that so people who want to learn to edit podcasts mix podcasts or just mix audio in general and get a good feel for mixing multi-track because you know most people are like hey can you help me with editing this audio and it's like just five people trying to talk on just one audio track like no i can there's no way to help that (laughs) so you know somebody wants to learn to do it the right way i put those up there on archive.org free of charge just download them for people to practice and that's the first time somebody served them back you're like hey that was helpful neat i'm good i i I knew you were doing this and yeah this is like the first bit of feedback we've gotten about it so that's very nice (laughs) um have fun with it and i'll tell you the biggest thing uh, about audio is has nothing to do with the microphone the real audio was the friends we made along the way. Yeah. The real audio was inside you all along. <laughs> that was, and it wants out. <laughs> that's another thing I'm going to, uh, that's on my list of shit. I got to get done uh, to do like a little mixing thing with the uh, three of us. Cause we're all, this is very good examples of um, different types and how to EQ and set up expansion and all that to get everybody like cohesively sounding together you know you don't get that like one person and like the other person's clearly on mars underwater <laughs> like, blah, 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 blah. drives me crazy ooh 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 i think it's like no one else like, like no one else who was that fine young cannibals right yeah fine, fine yeah. young cannibals yeah drives me crazy okay. ooh, ooh. thanks bmg for the copyright. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, I don't think I'm as good a singer that they'll they'll trip it, but you know, whatever, whatever. Oh man, they're Hire gonna me. try Fire it. Young cannibals. Fire young cannibals. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this evening. If you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vinstone on the Twitters, because that's still around, and at Vin on our federated timeline, mass.lenicemcast.com. Scream at me the other six days of the week at our Discord, and uh I'll say hi back. I'm Jordan. If you are in a band and you are looking for someone <laughs> with a high pitched falsetto or castrato, at the Burning Fool on Twitter, at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Though, to be fair, you might have to hold Jordan by the uh, undercarriage for him oh, to get I that know. high. What but... was that noise? <laughs> I, 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 I'm doing it myself. You, do, you don't need to do it for me. I'm constantly. Okay, there you go. You gotta uh, tell me to like get my fan hands out of my pants. 
<laughs> pens in your pants. I was going to give you, you know, the people just give people an excuse to reach for your pants. But hey, uh, if you want to reach for my pants, you can go to at unaccounted for on Elon net. That seems to have slowed down a little bit. I was hoping for some fires, but it hasn't happened. That's hey, it. Th th thank God for those H1B employees who are stuck there because <laughs> they can't leave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's roll some credits. Maybe. There it is. There it is. Boop. Hey. Where are the credits? Are, what, what are the Roman numerals? That's, what, that's the real question. I don't know where the credits are. <laughs> the credits, they're dead. They're dead. Met oh. Metallica's one got them. <laughs> Hang on. We got to investigate this. We're going to do it live. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's credits stop move, right? Mom? Mom? <laughs> uh, did, did, did you re render a new copy recently and that got fucked up? <laughs> you called it something different? Didn't put it in the right folder. You know we're investigating this live right now. Pretend <laughs> credits are rolling, everybody. Yeah, uh, we, gotta, we gotta think the, the, the death notes and, the, and there's like no, Nova K, Cheesy Bick, and those yeah, guys. Yeah, and Ultimagus, thank you very much for being uh, the executive producers. Oh, this thing's just yeah. being a dick for no reason. Um, uh, great, great. I, you know, you'd think by now I'd have more of these credits memorized, but I really don't. I really don't. And uh, thank you to everyone watching N us Nixon, live, Nixon's since we Pyramid, can't actually see uh, the credits. Death Notes, uh, yeah. <laughs> or uh, uh, Little Nicky fans. We got yeah. uh, Darkwing and Abstraction in there. Yeah, that, I, re I remember that. We, uh, we the, have the, to the, thank the Mir, um, North Ranger, Jill, uh, let's see, who else was talking tonight? Strider, uh, Strider's in there. We Strider, got, yeah. We got o Oil of Hope, we gotta thank, he's in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Foxy, of course, uh, yeah. also for gifting uh, us games. Yep. This is such a weird one, guys, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we're running out of the free software, so... Oh, wait, yeah. I, I got time, I got time, baby, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Well, no, hold on. Start rolling Christopher Judge's speech from the Game Awards now. <laughs> oh, that's another eight minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll buy us some time. I'm going to uh, pull this up. Uh, start, stop, play, add files. You're not getting out of this credits. Come on. Give them to me, baby. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's over. <laughs> It's over what I say. It's over. <laughs> Why is it so long? Why is the credits eight gigs? I don't get it. <laughs> did did you render like an hour of darkness? Oh no! Accident? Did you render them in sixteen k? <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> is it 12, 12, 800 by six hundred or some shit? We'll have to explore it next week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dad of fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. It's the fog machine, man. It's cursed. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>